Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy King Sanders here, and uh, as you guys can see, I am in a different room. If you guys have been following my streams at all, my PS4 is completely fucking fried. Um, literally, as soon as I get on like any games, like 2K, COD, whatever the case might be, my PS4 literally freezes, it shuts off, and then I try turning it back on, and it literally just loads and loads and loads. So, I am in Mince's room as of right now, so I am using his uh, streaming setup and everything for right now, but, um, you know, I gotta kind of make do with what I got, so, um, it'll be fine, but this is the 2K21 demo, as you guys know from last year, I was a sinner, um, and so I'm gonna be bringing you guys the best, uh, for, in my opinion, the best uh, big man shooting defender, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically the same exact build that I used from last year that I ended the year on. Um, so I went with power forward this year. Um, I know that it is like a big man, but I feel like the same thing is going to go for what happened last year with like the under power or with like the, the smaller centers. I feel like those are going to be the wave once again. So, um, I went with the power forward this year. It's just going to be a little, it's going to give him an increase on the shooting. Um, on top of that. Um, he's only going to be like a couple inches smaller, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Obviously, I went with the red green here, um, just because so that way he can get like the Hall of Fame uh, defensive badges and the Hall of Fame shooting badges. The pie chart was a little bit different. Um, I went with this one um, just because it's gonna, not only going to give me 68 speed, but it's also going to give me 75 strength. You are going to be undersized anyway, so you will need to be at least semi strong just so that way you can hold the box outs. Um, just so that way if you have like a guard running at you um, with a 50 strength like you're gonna get bullied but with a 75 strength you'll be able to back or uh, be able to like stop it so if you have a smaller guard on you as well um, with 75 strength you'll be able to back him down or whatever so now this is where it's gonna get a little bit interesting so what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to put all of your shooting for the first three max um, on the post fades, you're going to want to bring it up until you get to um, to 16 shooting badges. Okay, From there, you're not going to touch playmaking for now. You will eventually, but you're not going to for now. You At the end of the day, you are the big man, so you're really not going to be like dribbling. You know what I'm saying? So you don't really need any playmaking badges. You're going to max out everything on defense. You want to be the absolute biggest defensive menace that you can be um so then from there you're going to want to max out close shot just because if it's anything like last year you definitely want to be cheesy with the uh with the close shot for sure the driving layup um it, it you're going to want to max it out but it does only get to a 66 so just keep that in mind you're not going to be you know like jellying on people or like finishing over you know some of the stronger defenders so just keep that in mind um the driving dunk does get up to a 71 which honestly isn't that bad um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do your standing dunk all the way up until you get four shooting badges or four finishing badges. Sorry. So you're going to get them up to a 29. Obviously you're not going to be able to do standing dunks very well, but you know, at the end of the day, it's still going to help out the rest. You're going to want to put on pass accuracy, um, just because of the premier fact that, um, and then the last two points aren't really going to make that big of a difference. Um, you can kind of play around with it wherever you want it to go. I'll probably put it on standing dunk. It doesn't really matter, but you'll want to put your pass accuracy up. And the reason for that is because, you know, you're a big man, so you get the rebounds, you're going to outlet it to the point guard, and you guys are going to be off. If you can't make those passes, you're going to get shit, shit on. So you'll definitely want to keep your pass accuracy at least decent. Um, so from there, obviously, just like all the other years, this ha or just like the last year, this your body type hasn't really mattered at all. So we'll go with built for it. Now your height, I am going to keep it right at 6'10", uh, or at 6'9", I mean. So the reason why is because by moving him up to 6'10", it's going to do a lot more negative than it is for than it is positive. At 6'9", these are your stats. At 6'10", you're losing three driving layup, which you already sucked at driving layups anyway as this big guy. You're also going to lose five driving dunks, so you're not even going to be in the 70s anymore. So you're looking at a really poor inside game. On top of that, you're also losing one to all of your shooting, which is going to hurt you a lot in the end. Um, you're also going to lose one to that pass accuracy that I was talking about. 
The only positive you're going to get from it is plus two interior defense, but you're already going to be a big guy. So you, I mean, it's gonna, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, you're going to go up one and block, which might help. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but I would wait on it, and I'll explain why in a minute. But and then plus one to defensive rebound, which isn't really going to help you too much. You're also losing four perimeter defense, four lateral quickness, and two steel. Those are very important stats, um, so I really wouldn't, I, I would advise going 6'9". If you want to go 6'10", obviously you can, but it's also doing nothing positive for your physicals either. You're also losing, what, three speed? Yeah, three speed and three acceleration, just by going up one inch. So, in my personal opinion, I am going to stick with 6'9". I feel like that's going to be the best. Um, now, for the weight, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to make him just a little bit lighter um, see so like this is where he was at before so he was at 235 with a 75 strength I'm gonna move it until he gets down to like a 72 strength so right here at 226 he's gonna get up to a 69 speed up to a 67 Excel up to a 55 vertical he's also gonna get plus one defense uh, perimeter defense plus one lateral quickness and then he's only losing two interior defense so honestly that's really not too bad. You're still going to be in the mid 70s for interior defense, which isn't going to be terrible. And plus, you have 21 badges defensively, so you're definitely going to be able to get stops. This is why I told you that I would advise just keeping it at six nine instead of just getting those couple extra stats. Because watch, as a defensive player, you want to max out your wingspan, right? You are losing it three to your th to your uh, shooting. Okay, at the end of the day, a 67 with 16 shooting badges is not bad. But you're getting plus two close shot for having your wingspan max. You're getting a plus two driving dunk, which makes it actually pretty reasonable. You are getting a plus two steal, a plus seven block, a plus four offensive rebound, and a plus five defensive rebound. Now, with those stats, that's way better than if you just raise it an inch. If you raise it just an inch, obviously you're going to get some better stats. But if you think about it, it brought your three ball down by what? Like three, I think. So you'd be down six. So you'd be at a 64 three ball. You wouldn't even be like, like over the halfway point for 60s. So I'm going max wingspan. I'm sticking with 6'9". You're going to be lengthy. You're going to be a good player. Um, honestly... I'm probably going to go glass cleaning take. Um, I will be playing the center a lot this year, so I'll probably just play glass cleaning take. Um, so obviously you have built a glass cleaner. Surprise, surprise. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show my uh, badge setup real quick. So if let's just say that I was a 99 overall. Okay. So what I would do for the badges personally for me, I'm not really that big of a, like, you know, I, I don't really shoot. I don't really shoot layups. You know what I'm saying? Like I... If you guys know me, I, I'm literally a shooter, you know, shooter, shoot. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is if I don't think hop steps are going to be nearly as effective as they were last year, but if they are, I'll be putting fancy footwork on silver and I'll be putting contact finisher on silver. If they aren't as effective as last year, then I will probably be doing something along the lines of maybe either well, I'll probably be doing pro touch because it because um, if you release your your layup you know well it has a better chance of going in and probably consistent or maybe I'll throw on lob city um, we'll just stick with that for now I don't really know what I would run I like I said I, I'm not a finishing player so I don't really give two shits about the finishing badges at all now the shooting is where things get interesting so obviously off rip we're gonna go range extender hall of fame obviously we're gonna go hot zone hunter hall of fame but this is where it gets kind of tricky it's kind of up to your own preference um in my opinion what i'm gonna want to do is i'm gonna want to do green machine on silver i'm gonna want to do dead eye on silver corner specialist on silver and catch and shoot on silver that's what i would do obviously if there's a, a badge that you guys like um so for example if you guys want to use clutch shooter that's another good badge um, if you want to use, I don't know, like volume shooter, that's another good badge. But at the end of the day, like these are probably going to be what you want to run. You can obviously change it if you want to just run bronze catch and shoot gold corner specialist or, 
you know, however you want to do it, but this is probably exactly what I would do. Um, obviously, the only the only playmaking badge worth anything on a center is going to be bailout. Um, the only other thing is quick first step, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to be beating people off the dribble. I'm going to be I'm going to be scoring inside if I'm wide open, or I'm going to be shooting threes. So now this is where um, it's a little interesting because last year, if you had bronze box on and all you had was bronze box, you could box out literally some of the best players in the game. So I'm just going to go based off of all my knowledge from last year. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want Silver Intimidator because Silver Intimidator, for whatever reason, seemed to work even better. I'm going to want to put on Hall of Fame Clamps. I'm going to want to put on Hall of Fame Pogo. Um, I'm going to want to put on at least Silver Rim Protector, at least Silver Chase Down. Um, I am going to want to put on Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. And then the last two I can just kind of play with. Maybe I could run something like this. Maybe I could take these off and put it on brick wall if I'm playing with a point guard that needs screens. Maybe I could put them on defensive leader, give everyone a plus two stat. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, that's just, I would probably go with this for, especially just to like kind of get a feel of the game. But this was probably what I would go with. Um, but yeah, man, as you guys can see, I mean, that is 4, 16, 1, and 21. Um, you guys would be getting Hall of Fame shooting badges, Hall of Fame defensive badges um, along with this. You would still be able to finish pretty well. You'd have like a mid-70s um, driving layup and driving dunk. Um, you get a pretty decent three ball because um, last year you, if you had a 43 ball, you could literally green every shot um, just because the game was so broken. So as long as shooting is still just as broken as it was before, you'll be perfectly fine with this build. Um, it's going to be, I can definitely tell you that right off rip, it's going to be an extremely good build, especially when everyone's trying to figure out the game and everything. You're going to be racking up so many of my points, getting rebounds, getting assists, getting steals, you know, everything. You, this is definitely going to be a day one build. You will definitely want to make this build if you're playing center at all. Now, with that being said, you guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you like, and subscribe. Um, and turn on that notification bell so that way you guys know every time I go live. But um, yeah, man, thank you guys so much for watching. This is King Sanders signing out. Peace.